I'm angry, I'm seething with anger, and you're gonna see some emotion in me on this video. This is a picture of Hannah Curran. Hannah Curran is a girl that went to middle school with my daughter. This is a clip of my daughter, who's on the far left, dancing, and in comes Hannah Curran's troupe here. Hannah Curran is this girl right here. I... I saw her dance many times. Wonderful girl, beautiful dancer, great student, great kid. She died in February. I didn't know her that well, but I knew her. I shot video of her dancing when she was dancing with my daughter at middle school shows. I know her sister. She was killed by a human driver. So I'm very sad that we as a world lost this wonderful young woman. And I'm angry. I'm angry that so many people don't see that this can be stopped, that this can be stopped soon, that we can save so many more young people, old people, pedestrians, so many people die in car accidents, killed by human drivers. It's not that the individual human driver is an evil person, it's that human drivers are inherently less safe than what's coming. And the way we can stop this is we can encourage and accelerate self-driving cars. Cars which can see 360 degrees around themselves at all times. They never get distracted, they never fall asleep, they never get drunk. They would have seen. I'm going to show you clips from the story right now. Learning more about that 15 year old girl hit and killed while rollerblading in Volusia County. The teen was in a marked crosswalk last night. Around 6.50 last night, Florida Highway Patrol says a 61 year old man was driving north on Ocean Shore Boulevard or A1A when he hit Corinne, who was roller skating on the marked crosswalk. He told troopers he didn't see her. Coran's family says she had just moved here from Boca Raton and had just started at Seabreeze High School. The human driver didn't see her crossing in a crosswalk. A self-driving car has better vision. 360 degrees, sees everywhere, never looks away, never gets distracted. It is very likely that a well-developed self-driving car would have seen her. It's very likely that a Tesla today would have seen her. This was February 2021. A self-driving Tesla in February 2021 very likely would have seen her. We want companies like Tesla to accelerate, to push forward, to develop self-driving cars, to save lives like the life of Hannah Curran. There are too many people like Mahmoud Hikmet. This is the reason I got angry is I had an exchange with Mahmoud today on Twitter. And I've had exchanges like this before. If you check my channel, I had an exchange with Jason Torchinsky of Jalopnik. There's a Duke professor named Missy Cummings. There are people out there who are constantly shitting on Tesla's efforts to develop self-driving cars. This is another example of it. You can see in the top post, he says 20 deaths suspected so far from Tesla autopilot. And then right down here, he concedes that 20 is really 10. And I don't concede that autopilot has killed 10 people. The reality is that a driver who wasn't paying attention may have caused a crash because they weren't paying attention when they were supposed to, which human drivers do all the time, whether they have autopilot or not. But if your best argument against autopilot is that 10 people died in the last four years in autopilot driven cars, let's do some math. Human driven cars kill about 40,000 Americans a year. They kill about a million people a year worldwide. If 10 people died in the last four years over from autopilot, that's two and a half people a year. And here's the important piece of math that you need to understand. If full self-driving will eventually eliminate those million deaths a year, then every year you slow it down, every year you delay full self-driving cars, self-driving autonomous vehicles, which are safer than human drivers by a long shot once they get here. I think Tesla full self-driving is already safer than some human drivers already, but 
very soon it's going to be safer than the average human driver, than the 90th percentile human driver, and then the best human driver, very soon. If you make it take a year longer for that to spread, then you kill a million people. To save two and a half people or 10 people, it's a million versus 10. Let me say that again. If you slow down autonomous driving, if you get in the fucking way of Elon Musk and Tesla and Andre Karpathy and Ganesh and Ashok and the Tesla team's efforts to deliver self-driving cars that will make us all safer, that will make our children safer, that will make pedestrians and everyone else safer, save lives, a million lives a year. If you try to slow that shit down, you're a fucking lunatic. You're fucking crazy. You're killing people. So stop this bull. We need self-driving cars as soon as possible. I'm tired of seeing people dying, being killed by human drivers when there's a technology. We're right on the edge of this technology. We are so fucking close to getting there. And Elon Musk is driving for it, and Andre Karpathy is driving for it, and Ganesh and Ashok and the rest of the Tesla team are driving for it. And you could watch fucking Autonomy Day and understand what the hell is going on instead of this fucking dimwit Beth Kindig who has absolutely no fucking clue what Tesla is doing and goes on a rant about how Tesla FSD is dangerous when she doesn't have any fucking clue. She thinks they need 5G to communicate to servers, to say, hey, this is what I see, what should I do? Instead of the compute being in the car, she thinks having the compute in the car would drain the battery. Shut the fuck up, you don't know what you're talking about. You're killing people. Every fucking effort by Tesla Q, by Missy Cummings at Duke, by every, Gordon fucking Johnson, every fucking one of these people is slowing the advent of self-driving cars that are safer and will save a million lives a year. You slow it down by one year, you killed a million fucking people. That's what you're doing, Tesla Q. That's what you're doing. And I'm fucking sick and tired of it. Elon, Andre, the Tesla team, they're working their asses off to make this happen. So many other benefits of this, even beyond saving lives, but a million lives a year, and you want to slow this down. You're out of your fucking minds. This has been bugging me the whole day because this guy Mahmoud starts talking about 10 deaths. It's not fucking 10 deaths. There's a million deaths on the other side. A million a year. 10 over four years, I got 4 million over four years. Come on. And your 10 are anyway. So the next time you see someone talking trash about Tesla autopilot, Tesla full self-driving, tell them they're killing a million people a year. Thank you for watching.